Okay, so the model state is pretty cool, and I wanted to show you guys how this kind of works. So, uh, model state does a lot of heavy lifting for us in the sense that it builds off of our code first data notations, and these are called data notations, these attributes that we give this uh, field in this class. And this class is our model class here for creating a user, the most uh, probably common requested thing. And essentially, uh, we have three fields here which are required, uh, email, password, and username, and one that is not, which is phone. And so uh, if we don't populate these fields in our view, it should kick back these error messages, which we have uh, customarily displayed. And uh, for this one, nothing should show up, regardless if we put something in or don't. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, model state now. And um, just real quick, I'll, I guess I should show you this. I already created a view here uh, based off that model. So this view was already automatically generated. That's where I'm getting it from. So uh, anyway, so now that we have a model passed into our controller here, we have a controller with two method names, which each are called create. How it distinguishes between the two is the first is the fact that we're passing a parameter to this one and we are not to this one. The second is uh, we need to add some attributes to it, which is this response to the post method, which our form will be calling in our view. And then we'll say accepts verbs. We'll say HTTP verbs, which is a uh, enumeration. And we're going to only do post. We only want it to allow it to do post. Uh, we'll say action name. And we will name it create, because that's the name of the create method here. And now let's also validate our anti-forgery token to ensure that people aren't using cross-site scripting. So, uh, so that's going to be it. And that's kind of um, when it uh, hits the uh, post method, it jumps and it sees, oh, I'm calling create, oh, but I'm doing a post, and it will look at this method instead. So, whew, all right. And now we're finally all done with that. Let's go ahead and look at the create. So if... We're going to say if model state that is valid. We're going to say return view. Okay. Uh, if it's if it doesn't hit this return, meaning that it's not valid, we are actually going to say return view with the model. Now, some people have a philosophy about whether or not you should return the model for security reasons. For example purposes we are just going to go ahead and return the model. And now to move forward real quick, then all we have to do is we can say model state dot add model error. And now we can give the user a message in the event that their model state wasn't valid. And I'll say, please check fields for errors. And that's it. And maybe uh, in return, I want to return to the view, to the index view. That's So now if the model state is valid, it will return them to the index. So uh, if it's not valid, it should re just keep them at this create page here. It will return this view, this create view with the model. So let's go ahead and uh, build our project here. And I'm going to run it. And if it pulls up here. So now I uh, this is where the users would be displayed. I'm going to hit Create New. And see, it already generated these fields for us. So it's just pretty nifty. Asterisks indicating that these are required. Let's go ahead and enter a username, a password, uh, and I'm not going to enter the email address, and I'll leave phone. Or, uh, and I'll put something in phone. I'm going to hit Create. And you can see that uh, with returning the model, my information saved. And our custom error showed up saying that, please enter your email in our email address here. So you can see that uh, this is pretty nifty, that model state does a lot of heavy lifting for us. And I'll leave phone empty this time, and I'll type in an email address. And uh, 
it's trying to okay so there's some interesting validation so I'll do example at example.com and I'll say create and uh, null references was not handled I don't know oh uh, probably because I was passing nothing into my index there but I'm just gonna hit okay uh, if it will redirect me I don't know if it will it doesn't look like it will but that's okay all right so that's <laughs> that's fine anyways that's how you use the uh, model state essentially is to validate the user input against your data notations that you might have on your attributes so uh, once again hopefully this is, was helpful and would appreciate the feedback thanks